I've got seven houseplant trends that are hot right now. These are a mix of common houseplants that you can find in your local garden center or big box store, or they are rarer houseplants that you might need to hunt out and find online, but they've all grown massively in popularity in 2022. The first plant on my list is the pineapple plant. So I recently saw this plant being sold as a houseplant in my recent shopping trip at home base and I did almost buy it. I thought it looked really interesting as a small plant that I could just pop in my home and it'll probably make a bit of an interesting topic of conversation for when friends come round. Pretty unusual to have a mini tropical tree with fruit on it as a house plant in your home. So I think this plant is popular right now because people are looking for plants that offer a bit more than just looking pretty in their living rooms. I think they like the idea that a plant looks nice and will also theoretically produce fruit. So they're getting a little bit more bang for their buck. So I've done a little bit of research on Google Trends and this plant has had a 250% recent increase in searches. So something's definitely happening with this plant. Either way, I think I'll probably go back to home base and pick one up myself. The second hot plant on my list is the Bromeliads. I recently purchased my first Bromeliads in my B&Q shopping trip because I thought it looked really interesting with this large pink stem in the middle of the plant, despite knowing very little about the plant at the time. So as you can see, this plant is now sending out purple flowers from its central stem, and I think it looks really awesome. I'm really happy with it. It's a nice contrast to my other house plants in my dining room, and I think it looks fantastic. So I have started to notice more and more of these in the shops, particularly in big box stores. And I think this is because they come in so many different shapes and sizes. So I think people like how versatile they are and that they will complement all sorts of plant styles at home. So Google Trends has seen a 70% increase in searches for this plant too. So there does seem to be a bit of a big increase in popularity for this plant. The next trend that is hot right now is the gold black philodendron. I think this plant looks absolutely stunning and I've never heard of it or seen it before until recently. So it's a climbing philodendron with dark green leaves with pale green veins that look really, really interesting. So this plant has seen a massive 300% increase in Google searches over the last couple of months. And I think you can see why. This plant is obviously a very rare plant, so I don't think you'll be able to find it in your local big box store. I've tried to find it for sale online, but to be honest, this has been a bit of a struggle. This is clearly a highly sought after plant, so I think they are pretty expensive too. If you do have this plant in your collection, then do let me know in the comments. The next hot plant on my list is a more common house plant that I also have in my house and it's the Monstera adansoni. This plant has seen an 80% increase in Google searches recently. So this plant is clearly coming back in popularity in a big way. Obviously this plant is fairly common. You might not see it that often in big box stores, but you should be able to find it in your local garden center. I bought this one at Ferndale Garden Center, my local garden center. I've got a shopping trip video there, so check out that video guys after this. I've since propagated it and created another plant, so it is really easy to propagate as well. I think this plant is hot right now because it's basically a mini version of the ever popular Monstera Deliciosa. I think people like that it's perhaps a more manageable compact size and it can be placed in smaller spaces than your Monstera. So I've got mine on my dining room mantle, which is quite a small space, and it's living very happily there. I do really love this plant with the fenestration in the leaves. The fenestration in the leaves seem a bit more reliable than with a Monstera Deliciosa. You can see why it's nicknamed the Swiss cheese plant. I've got a full care guide for this plant, so check out that video, guys, if you want to know how to best look after this plant. I'll link to it in the description. If you're finding this video useful, guys, then I'll be really happy if you would hit the like button so this video can reach more people. The next hot house plant trend that I'm seeing right now is not a specific plant, but a type or style of plant and that is extra large house plants. So I think there's a recent general trend for large floor standing plants that people are buying as a statement piece for their homes. I think what with the pandemic and people not going out as much and perhaps people working from home more, 
We are starting to pay a bit more attention to styling our homes and making our homes a real place of retreat. So these extra large plants fit into that and make any room more interesting as a statement piece in the corner of the room. This is why plants such as the Monstera deliciosa and the Kentia palm continue to be so popular and will continue to be sold in many big box stores. So I myself have a large Monstera deliciosa in my bedroom and it does make the room more interesting and inviting. Without that plant, I think the room would feel emptier and somehow colder. I don't yet have a Kentia palm, but I would like to get one to add as a statement piece in my living room. So I might look to buy one in my next shopping trip video. The sixth plant on my list is a relatively rare one, and that is the Alocasia silver dragon. Alocasias seem to have massively grown in popularity in the last few years with more and more being found in stores such as Ikea. But sadly, I don't think you'll find this one in Ikea. So I purchased an Alocasia elephant ear from my local Ikea last year that is sitting happily in my living room, which I'm a big fan of. You can see why the silver dragon is so hot right now because it's a real stunner. It's a real statement plant with its large silver green leaves with these dark green veins that extend from the soil. So this plant has seen a 100% increase in recent searches, so it's got a lot of people recently interested. Like I said, this plant is relatively rare and you'll probably have better success buying online than in your local garden centre, but it's surprisingly not too expensive, particularly for how great it looks. You could probably pick up a baby plant for around 15 to 20 pounds, and then a more mature one for probably about 40 or 50 pounds. So the Alocasia Silver Dragon will probably be on my next online plant shopping spree. If you've not checked out my recent online plant shopping and unboxing video, then I'll link to it in the description so you can have a look after this. Ficus plants have been a staple for people for many years, including me, but the ficus umbellata is particularly hot right now with its popularity skyrocketing in early 2022. I do love a ficus plant and I think this one looks just as good to me if not even better. I think it's similar in form to a fiddle leaf fig but has these really interesting distinctive heart-shaped leaves. It's these leaves I think that are making this plant so popular at the moment because People always seem to love a plant with heart-shaped leaves, such as the string of hearts. So this plant is rarer than your fiddle leaf fig or your ficus elastica, but you should still be able to find it from a good seller online. I think they're going for about 50 pounds at the moment for a medium-sized plant, so well worth an investment. I do think this plant will eventually replace the fiddle leaf fig in popularity, and they will become more and more common because of those heart-shaped leaves. So look out for more of these in your local garden centres in the coming months. If you love shopping for houseplants as much as I do, then do check out my recent plant shopping trip at Dobby's Garden Centre here. This garden centre had tons of super rare plants that I'd never seen before, so it was a great trip. I'll see you there and thank you very much for watching.